multimedia hardware in this video we are going to see about multimedia hardware the multimedia pc that is mpc is a standard specifying the minimum hardware requirements to turn intel microprocessor based computers into multimedia computers the mpc was suggested by MPC Marketing Council that is now known as MPC Working Group which has support of Microsoft and various PC manufacturers. Time to time this MPC Working Group has proposed MPC specifications. MPC Level I specifications that is 1990 16 MHz, 386 SX microprocessor, at least 2 MB RAM, 30 MB hard disk, 1 X CD-ROM drive, VGA video that is 16 colors, 8-bit audio board, speakers or headphones, MS Windows, multimedia extension packages. MPC Level 2 Specifications 1991 25 MHz microprocessor at least 4 MB RAM that is 8 MB recommended as optimum 3.5 high density 1.44 MB floppy disk drive 160 MB or large hard disk 2x CD-ROM drive 16-bit sound card with microphone input, a color monitor with display resolution of at least 640 into 480 with 65,536 that is 64K colors. MPC Level 3 specifications that is 1995 75 MHz Pentium processor or compatible minimum 8 MB RAM that is 16 MB better and 20 MB optimum 540 MB hard disk 4x CD-ROM drive with sustained transfer rate of 600 kbps average access time of 250 ms CD-ROM XA ready multi session capability audio 16 bit digital sound wave table midi playback speakers tested at minimum of 3w per channel graphics performance color space conversion and scaling capability direct access to frame buffer for video enabled graphics subsystem with a resolution of 352 into 240 at 30 frames per second that is 352 into 288 at 25 frames per second at 15 bits per pixel video playback mpeg1 that is h by w or s by w direct access to frame buffer with a resolution of 352 into 240 at 30 frames per second or 352 into 288 at 25 frames per second at 15 bits per pixel without dropping a frame user input 101 key ibm keyboard Two button mouse, MIDI, joystick, serial and parallel ports. System software, MS Windows 3.11 and DOS 6.0 or binary compatible. Hardware peripherals. In this video, we are going to see about hardware peripherals. Interfaces 
SCSI that is Small Computer System Interface. SCSI slows to add peripheral equipments like HDD, scanners, CD-ROM players and other peripheral devices conforming to SCSI standard. As many as 8 devices can be connected to the SCSI port, one of them must be the computer itself with ID7. ID not is usually hard disk. SCSI interface cards can be installed in PC and up to 7 external devices such as hard disk, CD-ROM drives, tape drives, printers, scanners, rewritable cartridge drives and magneto optical devices can be connected to each installed card when a scsi device is connected to the interface card in a pc it is mounted to the system as another drive letter floppy disk drive a and b hard disk drive C and SCSI based external devices as drives D, E, F, G, etc. The hardware and drivers available for SCSI providing faster data transfer across wider buses are Fast SCSI Ultra SCSI Wide SCSI SCSI 2 SCSI 3 Media Control Interface MCI It is provided by MS Windows and is a unified command driven method for software to talk to related multimedia peripheral devices. With MCI, any hardware or software device can be connected to a computer running MS Windows. Using the appropriate drivers, programs can control the device with simple command strings or codes sent to the MCI. Multimedia devices and drivers are managed by the MS Windows system .ini file in the MCI and drivers sections of that file. Device types supported by MS Windows, MCI, Memory and Storage Devices, RAM, as multimedia consumes a large amount of memory to open graphics and audio files, primary memory requirement is more, that is minimum 8 MB and optimum 20 MB. Adequate storage space for production environments can be provided by Large capacity hard disk Server mounted disk on a network, SciQuest removable cartridges, optical media, CDR that is CD recordable, tape, floppy disk, banks of special memory device, floppy disk is a flexible mylar plastic disk coated with a very thin layer of special magnetic material. Hard disk is actually a stack of hard metal platers coated with a magnetically sensitive material with a series of recording heads or sensors that hover a hair's breadth above the fast spinning surface, magnetizing or demagnetizing spots along the formatted tracks.
PsyQuest Drive is an external and portal storage device. It is a Winchester device drive which uses removable cartridge of 44 MB or 88 MB or 200 MB and even a 1 GB storage capacity. Magneto optical drive uses a high power laser to heat tiny spots on the metal oxide coating of the disc. While the spot is hot, a magnet aligns the oxides to provide a zero or one orientation. It provides 128 MB storage on 3.5 inch size disc. Larger format MO drives with 5.25 inch cartridges offering 650 MB to 1.3 GB of storage are also available. DVD that is digital video disc is capable of storing gigabytes of FMV that is full motion video MPEG2 and high quality audio in surround sound. There are two types of DVDs. DVD video DVD ROM Video disc players can be used in conjunction with the computers to deliver multimedia applications. The output of VDP is an analog TV signal, so either a TV separate from the computer monitor is set up or video digitizing board is used to window the analog signals on the monitor. Input devices Some of the commonly used input devices are Keyboards Mice Trackballs, touch screens, graphic tablet, scanners, OCR, that is optical character recognition device. This device includes a software and a scanner. Software acts as an OCR device and the scanner reads the characters. The scanner converts printed matter to ASCII text files and the OCR software recognizes it. Scanner software examples are OmniPage from CARE or Perceive from Ocron. Barcode Reader is the most familiar OCR device in use today. Using photocells and laser beams barcode readers recognize the numeric characters of the universal product code that are printed in a pattern of parallel black bars or merchandise labels. In multimedia, an OCR terminal can be used to recognize printed characters as well as handwriting. Infrared Remote Let a user interact with the project that is presentation while moving around the room. Voice Recognition System It facilitates hand-free interaction with the multimedia project. This system provides a unidirectional cardioid noise concealing microphone that automatically filters out background noise. The system can be taught to recognize individual voices and then be programmed with the appropriate responses to the recognized word or phrase. The Macintosh AV and Power Mac computers include voice recognition capabilities. PCs can be made VRS-capable by using add-on sound cards such as
Creative Labs Sound Blaster card. Output Hardware. Presentation of multimedia project need devices through which the multimedia elements may be delivered to the user. Some of the output devices are monitors, printers, speakers, monitors. Most important output device provides all the visual output to the use. Should be designed for the highest quality image with the least distortion. Large vacuum tube with electron gun at one end aimed at a large surface on the other end. Viewing screen is coated with chemicals that glow with different colors. Three different phosphorus are used for color screens. Sources of electron beam is electrically negative pole or cathode. Hence, the name cathode ray tube or CRT. Two different sets of colors are used in monitors, RGP and CMY, with either set capable of full color spectrum. Electron beam strikes a screen many times per second. Phosphorus are re-excited at each electron strike for a brief instance. Refresh rate measured in Hertz. Preferred refresh rate is 75 Hertz or more. Electron beam sweeps across a screen in a regular pattern. Required to refresh phosphorus frequently and equally. Raster scan pattern. Always strikes when going from left to right and turned off to go from right to left. Three separate electron beams for three colors for better focus and higher refresh rates. Screen divided into individual picture elements or pixels. Each pixel is made of its own phosphor elements to give the color. Memory chip contains a map of what colors to display on each pixel. Bitmap Mostly used in context of binary images that is black or white. One bit per pixel to indicate whether pixel is black or white. Color maps or pix map. One byte for each color for every pixel that is 24 bit color. Liquid crystal display monitors. Flat screen displays. Crystals allow more or less light to pass through them, depending upon the strength of an electric field. Not appropriate for multimedia presentation as the view angle is extremely important. Speakers and MIDI interface Production of sound A digitized representation of frequency and sound transmitted at appropriate time to the loudspeaker, that is, dot wave files, common method. Commands for sound synthesis can be transmitted to a synthesizer at appropriate time, that is, MIDI file used for the generation of music. Musical Instruments Digital Interface, that is MIDI. 
standard to permit interface for both hardware and control logic between computers and music synthesizers. Basic Tools in Multimedia In this video, we are going to see about basic tools in multimedia. Many multimedia applications such as presentations, training, messaging, etc. require intermixing of moving images with document images and graphical text displays. They involve dynamic handling of data consisting of a mix of text, voice, audio components, video components and image animation. The user can cut sections of any or all of these components and paste them to create a new applications such as a spreadsheet a desktop publishing system or an animated sequence of events. Such applications are called integrated multimedia applications. This section discusses the tools of multimedia systems. They are also called data elements for multimedia systems. Data elements for multimedia systems. Faximile, that is fax. It is the first communication technology used to transfer document image over a telephone line. A fax machine usually consists of an image scanner, a modem, and a printer combined into a single package. Nowadays, the basic technology is widely used has evolved to allow higher scanning density for better quality facts. Document Images Some documents such as business documents need serious storage to retain for long periods of time. Also, a large number of copies of the original documents may be needed for a large number of people. The multimedia access to such documents allows storage for a long period of time, removes the need for making several copies of the original for storage and distribution. Photographic Images The photographic images are highly needed than typed documents. They are used frequently for a wide range of applications such as employee records for instant identification at a security gate, fingerprint cards, bank signature cards, photo identification systems, real estate systems with photographs of houses, patient medical histories, etc. Geographic Information Systems, that is GIS maps. The GIS system stores the graphical information of the map along with a database containing information relating highlighted map elements or item information. For example, details of the floors, rooms, and workers in an office building. The maps created in a GIS system are being used widely for urban planning, natural resources, and wildlife management. Voice commands and voice synthesis. The computer operation can be performed by giving spoken commands to the computer. These are called voice commands.
Voice synthesis allows the presentation of the results of an action to the user in a synthesized voice. For example, patient monitoring system in an operation theater. Thus, voice commands and voice synthesis allow hand-free operations of a computer. Audio messages Text messages can be substituted by audio messages. An audio message can be recorded using a microphone equipped with a computer and it can be attached to an electronic mail message. For example, audio message attachments to documents such as maintenance manuals. Video messages Video messages can be embedded in electronic mail messages like audio messages. They can range from a single snapshot to full motion video clips. Full motion stored and live video. Full motion stored and live video allow full motion stored video for electronic mail or live video for presentation and video conferencing. It is a very useful idea for online training and maintenance manuals. The concepts of virtual reality can be created by adapting three-dimensional video techniques. Media In this video, we are going to see about media. Although there are various types of multimedia applications, that delivery format determines the main difference between them. It could be either delivered on a CD or DVD or communication network such as internet, intranet, local area network, etc. or a combination of these. The delivery format dictates the mature and quality of the media components that can be handled. However, the principles and development methods remain remarkably similar. Further, creation and delivery of the multimedia components is dependent on the availability of input, output, storage, communication and processing technologies. Multimedia elements can be added to familiar tools such as word processed documents, spreadsheets and presentation aids to provide interesting illustrations. The image, sound and animation can be built from scratch to these can be imported from collections of clip media. Special software and hardware tools are needed to customize or to create the multimedia elements. Multimedia elements are typically joined together using authoring tools. These tools are designed to manage multimedia elements and provide user interaction. Sounds and movies are usually created with editing tools dedicated to these media and then these are imported into the authoring system for playback. The sum of what gets played back is the response of human computer interface. The hardware and software govern the limits and the nature that make up the multimedia platform or environment. A progressive transformation is involved in the process of transformation of information. It starts with the conceptual expression that is meaning, message, idea and logic. Then it is represented by perceptual media in digital form that is ASCII, JPEG, MPEG, WAVE, AVI etc.
Finally, there is a physical representation of the media that is presentation and interchange and processing of the media. Physical representation for presentation involves input and output devices. Physical representation for interchange involves storage and transmission systems. For example, the concept beauty of rose can be expressed in a painting or a picture, which can be technically represented in a PEC file stored on the storage medium, CD-ROM and shown to someone using the presentation medium of a computer screen. This exemplifies how the digital data can be used to represent the analog world through the process of progressive transformation. The building blocks of multimedia amongst these audio and video are the important components enabling rich media applications. An overview of perceptual, technical and physical representation media and the technologies they encompass. The component technologies which are the basic building blocks for multimedia. Then there is the delivery system which is the combination of technologies, network systems, data compression methods and internet protocols. Forms. In this video, we are going to see about forms. The form designer uses the various edit elements of form design tools to design a form. The elements appearing in a form include fields or items, buttons, graphics, tables, list and other collections. Fields or items. Fields are the most common elements of forms. In most cases, these will be mapped to fields, column names, or attribute names of underlying database or flat files. Fields might be names of company, date when an order was placed, and so on. Fields names can be displayed to make it easier for data entry personnel to enter values. Some form editors allow users to specify calculation for fields. In other words, instead of the value in the field being derived from values of attributes or cell in an underlying data table, the value of the field could be the result of calculated values based on a formula. The fields could be labeled, formatted, bordered, filled, and so on. The forms designer has a lot of flexibility in deciding how to display a field. Buttons Forms can also have buttons to display the next record in a database, go to another linked form, etc. Buttons implement sections that are important and common for the form. Forms used to browse records in a database could contain buttons labeled Next, Previous, First, Last. Some implementation buttons are illustrated Graphics Most form design tools are able to import graphics and other multimedia objects. Note that this is different from importing multimedia elements that are field or attribute values from underlying databases.
A form might, for example, allow the user to retrieve a memo or even a picture of a person in an image valued field. The form design tools could also allow the designer to import graphic logos of, say, the name of the company, background images to enhance the presentation of the form, incorporating graphics elements and so on. The graphics element were designed with the Delrinus FormFlow Form Designer. Tables, list and other collections. In addition to fields containing single values, forms can also contain set of records presented in tabular, list or other format chosen by the designer. Especially in database front ends, forms can draw their underlying data from multiple tables which are often joined on key attributes. A form can display both the parent record, in this case the customer fields, and the children records, in this case the orders belonging to the customer. Once a form is designed, it can be used independently or linked to database tables to extract the field values. A single form can be filled, printed, rounded, otherwise processed. Alternatively, a form can be used as a graphical front end to a collection of records from the same table. The table could be a base table, that is, actually stored in a database, or it could be a view or virtual table constructed by combining or joining several base tables. Elements In this video, we are going to see about elements. Any system that allows the development of multimedia projects for presentation or the assembly of multimedia elements in general can be categorized as a multimedia authoring tool, including the following. Presentation Software Presentation software allows a user to prepare slide presentations involving multimedia elements. Presentation software such as Microsoft's PowerPoint and Asymmetrix Compel allow the user to incorporate still images, shapes of different sizes, colors, and voice annotations into slide presentation. This system has two components, an editor that allows the preparation of presentation sequences involving multimedia elements and viewers that are runtime utilities allowing users to play back the presentations. Iconic Authoring Systems It uses icon to control the flow between different elements of a presentation or an interactive product involving multimedia elements. Icon-based authoring systems are more complex than presentation software, but they allow greater flexibility. Products such as Authorware from Macromedia or Icon Author from AIMTech allow users to construct complex flow diagrams using icons that represent either multimedia elements or control flow primitives. Hypercard and Hypermedia These tools allow the non-linear representation of card stacks or hypermedia documents. Timeline-based system 
It can arrange various combinations of multimedia elements to prepare presentations and different timeline relationships to play back these elements either concurrently or sequentially. 2. Tools such as Media Blitz from Asymmetrics allow the user to edit various clips and scores using a timeline. The timeline incorporates still images and audio. When playing back the score, the system will display the images and play back the sound wave files at the specified intervals and in the specific order. Elements that are to be displayed or played back at the same time will appear in parallel intervals. All multimedia data types such as still images, audio wave files, MIDI files, animation and video can be incorporated in the timeline. Sound in this video, we are going to see about sound. Sound is probably the most sensuous element of multimedia. It is meaningful speech in any language from a whisper to a scream. It can provide the listening pleasure of music, the startling ascent of special effects, or the ambience of a mood setting background. It can promote an artist add interest to a text site by humanizing the author or to teach pronouncing words in another language. Sound pressure level that is volume is measured in decibels which is actually the ratio between a chosen reference point on a logarithmic scale and the level that is actually experienced. Musical Instrument Digital Identifier that is MIDI Musical Instrument Digital Identifier is a communication standard developed in the early 1980s for electronic musical instruments and computers. It is a shorthand representation of music stored in numeric form. MIDI is the quickest easiest and most flexible tool for composing original score in a multimedia project. To make MIDI score sequencer, software and sound synthesizer is needed. A MIDI keyboard is also useful for simplifying the creation of musical scores. Its quality depends upon the quality of musical instruments and the capabilities of sound system. Digital Audio Digitized sound is sampled sound. The every nth fraction of a second, a sample of sound is taken and stored as digital information in bits and bytes. The quality of this digital recording depends upon how often the samples are taken, that is sampling rate and how many numbers are used to represent the value of each sample, that is bit depth, sample size, resolution. The more often the sample is taken and the more data is stored about that sample, finer the resolution and Edify quality of the captured sound when it is played back. The quality of digital audio also relies on the quality of the original audio source, capture devices, supporting software and the capability of playback environment. The main benefit of audio is that it provides a channel that is separate from that of the display. 
Sound plays a major role in multimedia applications, but there is a very fine balance between getting it right and overdoing it. Multimedia products benefit from digital audio as informational content such as a speech or voiceover and as a special effects to indicate that a program is executing various actions such as jumping to new screens. The three sampling frequencies used in multimedia are CD quality 44.1 kHz, 22.05 kHz and 11.025 kHz. Digital audio plays a key role in digital video. Advantages of MIDI MIDI files are much more compact than digital audio files. The size of a MIDI file is completely independent of playback quality. MIDI files are 200 to 1000 times smaller than CD quality digital audio files. MIDI files may sound better than digital audio files if the MIDI sound source you are using is of high quality. Length of a MIDI file by varying its tempo can be changed without changing the pitch of the music or degrading the audio quality. Disadvantages of MIDI MIDI data is not sound, it is a score, so playback will be accurate only if the MIDI playback device is identical to the device used for protection. MIDI cannot be used to play back a spoken dialogue. Images in this video, we are going to see about images. Images Images are an important component of multimedia. These are generated by the computer in two ways as bitmap or raster images and as vector images. Raster or bitmap images the most common and comprehensive form of storage for images on a computer is a raster or bitmap image. Bitmap is a simple matrix of the tiny dots called pixel that forms a raster or bitmap image. Each pixel consists of two or more colors. The color depth is determined by how much data in bits is used to determine the number of colors, example, 1 bit is 2 colors, 4 bits means 16 colors, 8 bits indicates 256 colors, 16 bits yields 65,536 colors and so on. Depending on the hardware capabilities, each point can display from 2 to millions of colors. Comprehensive image means that an image looks as much as possible like the real world or original product. This means that the proportion, size, color and texture must be as accurate as possible. Bitmap formats are Windows Bitmap that is BMP, Device Independent Bitmap that is DIB and Windows Run Length Encoded, that is RLE. Vector Images Vector images based on drawing elements or objects such as lines, rectangles, circles and so forth to create an image.
The advantages of vector image is the relatively small amount of data required to represent the image and therefore it does not require a lot of memory to store. The image consists of a set of commands that are drawn when needed. A bitmap image requires the number of pixels to produce appropriate height, width and color depth. The vector image is based on a relatively limited number of drawing commands. The false drop of vector images is the limited level of detail that can be presented in an image. Mostly used vector format is Windows Metfied in Windows Operating System. Compression techniques are used to reduce the file size of images that is useful for storing large number of images and speeding transmission for networked application. Compression formats used for this purpose are GIF, TIFF and JPEG. Animation. In this video, we are going to see about animation. Animation. Animation consists of still images displayed so quickly that they give the impression of continuous movement. The screen object is a vector image in animation. The movement of that image along paths is calculated using numerical transformations applied to the defining coordinates. To give the impression of smoothness, the frame rate has to be at least 16 frames per second and for natural looking motion it should be at least 25 frames per second. Animations may be two or three dimensional. In two dimensional animation, the visual changes that bring an image alive occur on the flat X and Y axis on the screen, while in three dimensional animation, it occurs along the entire three axes X, Y, and Z, showing the image from all the angles. Such animations are typically rendered frame by high-end three-dimensional animation softwares. Animation tools are very powerful and effective. There are two basic types of animation. Path animation and frame animation. Path animation. Path animation involves moving an object on a screen that has a constant background example, a cartoon character may move across the screen regardlessly any change in the background or the character. Frame Animation In frame animations, several objects are allowed to move simultaneously and the objects or the background can also change. The moving objects are one of the most appropriate tools to enhance understanding as they allow the learner to see the demonstration of changes, processes and procedures. Animations uses very little memory in comparison to digital video as it consists of drawing and 84 moving instructions. Animation is very useful for such multimedia applications where moving visuals are required, but where digital video may be unsuitable, unnecessary or too expensive in terms of disk space or memory. Video In this video, we are going to see about video. Video Video is defined as the display of recorded real events on a television type screen. 
The embedding of video in multimedia applications is a powerful way to convey information. It can incorporate a personal element which other media lack. The personality of the presenter can be displayed in a video. The video may be categorized in two types, analog video and digital video. Analog video Analog video is the video data that is stored in any non-computer media like videotape, laser disc, film, etc. It is further divided into two types, composite and component analog video. Composite analog video has all the video components including brightness, color and synchronization combined into one signal. Due to the composition or combining of the video components, the quality of the composite video is resulted as color bleeding, low clarity and high generational loss. Generational loss means the loss of quality 86 when the master is copied to edit or for other purpose. This recording format was used for customer analog video recording tape formats that is such as Betamax and VHS and was never adequate for most multimedia presentations. Composite video is also susceptible to quality loss from one generation to other. Component analog video is considered more advanced than composite video. It takes different components of video such as color brightness and synchronization and breaks them into separate signals. SVHS and HI8 are examples of this type of analog video in which color and brightness information are stored on two separate tracks. In early 1980s, Sony has launched a new portable professional video format, Betacam, in which signals are stored on three separate tracks. There are certain analog broadcast video standards commonly used around the globe. These are National Television Standard Committee, that is NTSC, Phase Alternate Line, that is PAL, Sequential Color with Memory, SCCAM, and HDTV. In the United States, Canada, Japan, NTSC standard is used while in United Kingdom, China, South Africa, PAL is used. SECAM is used in France. A new standard has been developed known as High Definition Television that is HDTV which bears better image and color quality in comparison to other standards. Digital Video It is the most engaging of multimedia venues and it is a powerful tool for bringing computer users closer to real world. That is Wagen 2008. Digital Video is Storage Intensive A high quality color still image on a computer screen requires 1 megabyte or more of storage memory. To provide the appearance of motion, pictures should be replaced by at least 30 times per second and the storage memory required is at least 30 megabyte for one second of video. There are video compression standards as MPEG, JPEG, Cinepack and Sorenson.
In addition to compressing video data, streaming technologies such as Adobe Flash, Microsoft Windows Media, QuickTime and Real Player are being implemented to provide reasonable quality low bandwidth video on the web. QuickTime and Real Video are the most commonly used for widespread distribution. Digital video formats can be divided into two categories, composite video and component video. Component digital is the uncompressed format having very high image quality. It is highly expensive. There are certain standards for digital display of video that is Advanced Television System Committee that is ATSC, Digital Video Broadcasting that is DVB and Integrated Services Digital Broadcasting that is ISBD. ATSC is the digital television standard for the United States, Canada and South Korea. DVB is used commonly in Europe and ISBD is used in Japan to allow the radio and television stations to convert into digital format. Video can be used in many applications. Motion pictures enhance comprehension only if they match the explanation. For example, if we want to show the dance steps used in different cultures, video is easier and more effective than to use any graphics or animation. Multimedia File Formats In this video, we are going to see about multimedia file formats. In multimedia, there is a huge sharing and exchange of data among multiple applications. This goes smoothly by defining the data and file standards for multimedia. The standard file formats defined for multimedia are as given below. Rich text format that is RTF. Tagged image file format that is TIFF. Resource image file format that is RIFF. Musical instrument digital interface that is MIDI. Joint photographic expert group that is JPEG. Moving pictures expert group that is MPEG. Rich text format that is RTF. In this video, we are going to see about rich text format that is RTF. The rich text format that is often abbreviated to RTF is a proprietary document file format developed by Microsoft in 1987 for cross platform document interchange. Most word processors are able to read and write RTF document. As an example, the following RTF code. A backslash starts an RTF control code. The backslash par control code indicates the end of a paragraph and backslash B switches to a bold typeface. Brackets, open brackets and close brackets define a group. The example uses a group to limit the scope of the backslash B control code. Everything else will be treated as clear text or the text to be formatted. A valid RTF document is a group starting with the backslash RTF control code. Tagged image file format that is TIFF. In this video, we are going to see about tagged image file format that is TIFF.
stiff is portable it does not favor particular operating systems file systems compilers or processors tiff is designed to be extensible to evolve gracefully as new needs arise tiff allows the inclusion of an unlimited amount of private or special purpose information Major enhancements to TIFF 6.0 over version 5.0 include CMYK image definition A revised RGB colorimetry section YCBCR image definition CIE L asterisk A asterisk B image definition tiled image definition JPEG compression TIFF file structure bytes two to three version number the second word of the image header is supposed to be the TIFF version number. Bytes 4 to 7 IFD offset. This long word contains the offset in bytes of the first image file directory. The directory may be at any location in the file after the header but must begin on a word boundary. Image file directory. An image file directory that is IFD consists of a 2 byte count of the number of entries that is the number of tagged fields followed by the tagged field themselves followed by a 4 byte offset of the next image file directory or 0 if none. Because of 2 byte limit for specifying number of tagged fields each IFD is limited to a total of 256 fields. Tag fields. Each tag field is 12 bytes in length and it has following format. Bytes 0 to 1 contains the tag code for the field. Bytes 2 to 3 Tell what type of data the field points to. There are five different data types. One byte ASCII character codes. One byte unsigned integer byte. Two byte unsigned integer short. Four byte unsigned integer long. Eight byte fractions that is four byte for numerator followed by four bytes for denominator that is rational. Bytes 4 to 7 contain the length of the field. They tell how many different data elements the tag field points to. It is specified in terms of the data type, not the total number of bytes. Bytes 8 to 11, if total data elements take 4 bytes or less than bytes 8 to 11 contains the actual data elements, otherwise bytes 8 to 11 contain the pointer to the data. Resource image file format that is RIFF. In this video, we are going to see about resource image file format that is RIFF. RIFF that is resource interchange file format is a tagged file structure for multimedia resource files. Strictly speaking, RIFF is not a file format, but a file structure that defines a class of more specific file formats, some of which are listed here as subtypes. The basic building block of a RIFF file is called a chunk. Chunks are identified by four character codes 
and an application such as a viewer will skip chunks with codes it does not recognize. The basic chunk is a RIFF chunk which must start with a second four character code, a label that identifies the particular RIFF form or subtype. Applications that play or render RIFF files may ignore chunks with labels they do not recognize. Chunks can be nested. The RIFF structure is the basis for a few important file formats, but has not been used as the wrapper structure for any file formats developed since the mid-1990s. The RIFF defines following types of chunks. RIFF chunk defines the contents of the RIFF file. List chunk It allows embedding additional file information such as archival location, copyright information, creation date and so on. A list chunk contains a list or ordered sequence of subchunk. Subchunk. It allows adding more information to a primary chunk when the primary chunk is not sufficient. All chunks have the following format. 4 bytes. An ASCII identifier for this chunk example FMT or data. Four bytes, an unsigned little endian 32-bit integer with the length of this chunk. Variable sized field, the chunk data itself of the size given in the previous field. A pad byte, if the chunk's length is not even. The two chunk identifiers RIFF and LIST introduce a chunk that can contain subchunks. That chunk data after the identifier and length has the following format. 4 bytes. An ASCII identifier for this particular chunk that is in the case of the RIF chunk from the entire file such as AVI or WAVE. Rest of data sub chunks. Figure shows the organization of RIFF chunks. The first four characters of the RIFF chunk are reserved for the RIFF ASCII string. The next four bytes define the total data size of the RIFF chunk itself. The first chunk in RIFF file must be a RIFF chunk and it may contain one or more sub chunks. The first bytes of RIFF chunk data field is a form type field which contains the four characters to identify the format of the data stored in the file AVI, WAV, RMID and so on. Musical Instrument Digital Interface that is MIDI In this video we are going to see about Musical Instrument Digital Interface that is MIDI. MIDI that is Musical Instrumental Digital Interface 
is an industry standard protocol that enables electronic musical instruments, computers and other equipment to communicate, control and synchronize with each other. MIDI messages can be collected and stored in a computer file system in what is commonly called a MIDI file or more formally a standard MIDI file that is SMF. The SMF specification was developed by and is maintained by the MIDI Manufacturers Association that is MMA. MIDI Communication Protocol MIDI devices use the MIDI messages to communicate with each other. The messages are multi-byte and their length in numbers of bytes depends on the type of message. The structure of MIDI message includes status byte and up to 2 data bytes. Status byte The most significant bit of data byte is set to 0. The most significant bit of status byte is set to 1. The four low order bits identify which channel it belongs to. That is, 4 bits produce 16 possible channels. The 3 remaining bits identify the message. There are 2 types of MIDI messages. Channel message and system messages. Joint Photography Expert Group, that is JPEG. In this video, we are going to see about Joint Photographic Expert Group, that is JPEG. JPEG stands for Joint Photographic Experts Group. It is a standard method of compressing photographic images. We also call JPEG the file format which employs this compression. The file extensions for this format are .jpg, .jfif, .jpg or .jpe, although .jpg is the most common on all platforms. JPEG or JFIF is mostly used for storing and transmitting photographs on the World Wide Web but not as well suited for line drawings and other textual or iconic graphics because its compression method performs badly on these types of images. Some facts about JPEG JPEG is a well-established standard with plenty of software available, including free software. JPEG is at its best on photographs and paintings of realistic scenes with smooth variations of tone and color. The ratios at which the downsampling can be done on JPEG are 4 is to 4 is to 4, that is, no downsampling, comma, 4 is to 2 is to 2, that is, decimal by factor of 2 in horizontal direction, and most commonly, 4 is to 2 is to 0, that is, decimal by factor of 2 in horizontal and vertical directions. JPEG compression artifacts blend well into photographs with detailed non-uniform textures allowing higher compression ratios. Lossy sequential mode 
Lossy sequential mode is also known as the baseline mode. Since it is intended for the compression of both monochromatic and color digitized pictures or images as used in multimedia communication application. There are five main stages associated with this mode. Image or block preparation. Forward DCT that is a discrete cosine transform. Quantization. Entropy encoding. Frame building. Moving Pictures Experts Group that is MPEG. In this video, we are going to see about Moving Pictures Experts Group, that is MPEG. Short form of Moving Picture Experts Group and pronounced as MPEG is a working group of the ISO. The term also refers to the family of digital video compression standards and file formats developed by the group. MPEG generally produces better quality video than competing formats such as video for Windows, Indio, and QuickTime. MPEG files previously on PCs needed hardware decoders for MPEG processing. Today, however, PCs can use software-only codes including products from real networks, QuickTime, or Windows Media Player. MPEG algorithms compress data to form small bits that can be easily transmitted and then decompressed. MPEG achieves its high compression rate by storing only the changes from one frame to another instead of each entire frame. The video information is then encoded using a technique called discrete cosine transform that is DCT. MPEG uses a type of lossy compression since some data is removed, but the diminishment of data is generally imperceptible of the human eye. The major MPEG standards include the following. MPEG-1 The most common implementations of the MPEG-1 standard provide a video resolution of 352 by 240 at 30 frames per second, that is FPS. This produces video quality slightly below the quality of conventional VCR videos. ISO 11172 coding of moving pictures and associated audio for digital storage media at up to about 1.5 megabits per second such as CD-ROM. The MPEG-1 bitstream syntax allows for picture sizes of up to 4095 into 4095 pixels Many of the applications using MPEG-1 compressed video have been optimized the SIF video format, that is source intermediate format. As in MPEG-1, input pictures are coded in the YCBCR color space. This is referred to as the 4 is to 2 is to 0 subsampling format. MPEG-2 ISO 13818 Generic Coding of Moving Pictures and Associated Audio The maximum coded bitrate to 10 megabits per second. It could successfully support higher bitrates, example 80 to 100 megabits per second for HD TV applications. 
MPEG-2 supports the 4 is to 2 is to 2 color subsampling format. MPEG-3 was designed for HDTV but was abandoned in place of using MPEG-2 for HDTV. MPEG-4 A graphics and video compression algorithm standard that is based on MPEG-1 and MPEG-2 and Apple QuickTime technology. MPEG-4 is designed for very low bitrate system. This would allow for low quality video over internet connection. The object of MPEG-4 was to standardize algorithms for audiovisual coding in multimedia application allowing for interactivity, high compression, scalability of video and audio content and support for natural and synthetic audio and video content. MPEG-7 Formerly called the Multimedia Content Description Interface, MPEG-7 provides a toolset for completely describing multimedia content. MPEG-7 is designed to be generic and not targeted to a specific application. MPEG-21 includes a rights expression language that is REL and a write data dictionary unlike other MPEG standards that describe compression coding methods MPEG 21 describes a standard that defines the description of content and also processes for accessing searching storing and protecting the copyrights of content Multimedia application. In this video, we are going to see about multimedia application. Introduction Multimedia is a media that uses multiple forms of information content and information processing. Example, text, audio, graphics, animation, video, interactivity to inform or entertain the audience. Multimedia also refers to the use of electronic media to store and experience multimedia content. Multimedia means that computer information can be represented through audio, graphics, image, video and animation in addition to traditional media that is text and graphics. Multimedia represents the convergence of text, pictures, video and sound into a single form. The power of multimedia lies in the way in which information is linked. Multimedia finds its application in various areas including but not limited to Advertisement Art Education Entertainment, Engineering, Medicine, Mathematics, Business, Scientific Research and Spatial Temporal Application, Creative Industries. Creative Industries use multimedia for a variety of purposes ranging from the fine arts to entertainment to commercial art to journalism to media and software services provided for any of the industries listed. As individual multimedia designer may cover the spectrum throughout their career.
Requests for the skills range from technical to analytical to creative. Commercial Much of the electronic old and new media utilized by commercial artists is multimedia. Exciting presentations are used to grab and keep attention in advertising. Industrial, business-to-business -business, and inter-office communications are often developed by creative services firms for advanced multimedia presentations beyond simple slideshows to sell ideas or training. Commercial multimedia developers may be hired to design for government services and non-profit services applications as well. As the demands of business increased, multimedia exists in the form of advertisements, presentations, video conferencing, voicemail, etc. Entertainment and Fine Arts In addition, multimedia is heavily used in the entertainment industry, especially to develop special effects in movies and animations. Multimedia games are a popular pastime and are software programs available online. Some video games also use multimedia features. Home PCs equipped with CD-ROMs and game machines can be hooked up with TV screens. The virtual reality that is VR technology helps us feel a real life-like experience. Multimedia applications that allow users to actively participate instead of just recipients of information are called interactive multimedia. In the arts, there are multimedia artists whose minds are able to blend techniques in different media that in some way incorporates interaction with the viewer. One of the most relevant could be Peter Greenaway, who is melding cinema with opera and all sorts of digital media. Another approach entails the creation of multimedia that can be displayed in a traditional fine arts arena, such as an art gallery. For the most part, these artists are using materials that will not hold up over time. Education In education, multimedia is used to produce computer-based training courses and reference books like Encyclopedia and Almanacs. A CBT lets the user go through a series of presentations, test about a particular topic, and associated illustrations in various information formats. Edutainment is an informal term used to describe combining education with entertainment, especially multimedia entertainment. The teaching learning process has become easy and quick with multimedia tools. Engineering Software engineers may use multimedia in computer simulations for anything from entertainment to training such as military or industrial training. Multimedia for software interfaces are often done as a collaboration between creative professionals and software engineers. Industry In the industrial sector, Multimedia is used as a way to help present information to shareholders, superiors, and co-workers. Multimedia is also helpful for providing employee training, advertising, and selling products all over the world 
via virtually unlimited web-based technologies. Mathematical and Scientific Research In mathematical and scientific research, multimedia are mainly used for modeling and simulation. For example, a scientist can look at a molecular model of a particular substance and manipulate it to arrive at a new substance. Representation research can be found in journals such as the Journals of Multimedia. Medicine In medicine, doctors can get trained by looking at a virtual surgery or they can simulate how the human body is affected by diseases spread by viruses and bacteria and then develop techniques to prevent it. Miscellaneous In Europe, the reference organization for multimedia industry is the European Multimedia Association Convention, that is, EMMAC An observatory for jobs in the multimedia industry provides surveys and analysis about multimedia and ITC jobs. 